Today we got some awesome legendary eats. This terry sauce is no joke. It's safeguarded within the family for decades. And guys, the food we got today, it's pretty affordable. Dare I say cheap eats? Damn, look at that. That's like a beauty pageant winner in my book. You know you're local when plate lunches have memories. In celebration, today is National Donut Day, guys. So we got some awesome donuts. You don't want to miss this one. Aloha, foodie ohana. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we got a very special episode for you. We are featuring Legendary Eats, local hot spots. And guys, if you are wondering what locals eat here in this vicinity of the Kaimuki Kahala area, definitely stay tuned for the whole video because we got some awesome plates, we got some awesome burgers, and awesome dessert, guys. So in celebration, today is National Donut Day, guys. So we got some awesome donuts. You don't want to miss this one. And if you guys are new here, I'm Amanda. This is Felix. We take you guys on all of our foodie adventures. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you're aware of all of our different uploads and you can tag along with us on all of our foodie adventures. And give this video a big thumbs up if you think iconic eats in Hawaii are a must. Drop that like, guys. <laughs> Drop it. So let's get into the video, y'all. Let's go, cuz. We're starving. We're pretty famished. <laughs> Okay, so it's like it is double dipped yeah. you know, kind of thing. Okay, all right, thank you. So guys, in usual Amanda and Felix fashion, we got the last few burgers. Like, how crazy is that, guys? Like, and French fries. Oh, and French fries. We got the last French fries too. Like, we felt kind of bad because a bunch of people came in right after us. You know, they just got off of work too. But yeah, they were out of everything, guys. So make sure you get in before four and call ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thanks. You see that? All right. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks, guys. You too. Hello. A uh, phone order. Got the KCCN bento seafood plate. Got it. All right, thank you. Oh man, this is so heavy. I'm not gonna fall, man. Relax.
By the way, Yvonne's here. And we got the Vaughn with us today. Got the fan going, the hand rolling. You know her. <laughs> no fly on her watch. Let's get into it. All right, guys, this is such an ordeal already. It's so freaking windy. I mean, it is a lovely day, though. Tell me not, guys. It's a lovely day. It's very windy. It's just for filming purposes, this is an ordeal. But for picnicking, this is ideal. <laughs> Telling you, nice windy day, sunny, clear skies, beautiful palm trees, awesome food. And guys, because it's windy, you don't have to worry too much about the flies. I mean, they are still coming. We got the fly fan with us. Oh. With us. Oh. So, <laughs> almost whoa, hit myself whoa, in the face. Try to get, get me back from last time? I remember that. <laughs> yeah, insert flashback. Isn't this cool? Now we don't have to worry about the flies eating our food. Ah! Oh, shit. Food. Ah! Oh, shit. Sorry. What are you <laughs> Guys, so excited. Today we got some awesome, legendary eats. We went to two different places. One is known for their awesome plate lunches. One is known for their awesome burger. These places have been around for decades. The first spot we went to is a very well-known burger spot that a bunch of you have mentioned. Why haven't we gone yet? Well, here it is. We went to W&M Burger. Been around since the 1940s when burgers were still like 19 cents. I mean, that's ridiculous. Very famous, very known for their Terry beef burgers and Terry beef steaks. If you guys don't know what that is, I'm gonna show you in just a second. Do yourselves a favor. When you come to W&M, get the Hal Special. Don't worry about what else to order. Just get the Hal Special. That's their famous Terry beef burger, double dipped in their famous Terry sauce with slices of terry beef steak on top of that. Also submerged in their iconic terry sauce. I mean, look at this beauty. Tell me this is not beautiful and delicious. Oh, when you pull up to the driveway, you can just smell the intoxicating aroma of char broiled beef in that terry sauce, that sticky, sweet, delicious terry sauce. Cannot wait to get into this. And as mentioned in the B-roll earlier, Amanda and Felix fashion, we did get the last few burgers. It was pretty crazy. Sometimes I feel like it was meant to be. Fate is telling us, share with your foodie Ohana the <laughs> awesome, delicious foods. And of course, it was to the point we even got the last three order of french fries. How crazy is that? Cheers. All right, cheers. Oh, what did I get? I just got a regular cheeseburger. <laughs> so Amanda got the OG cheeseburgers, just their terry beef cheeseburger. Yvonne also got the, the Royal House special right there she just showed, except without the veggies, because she don't like veggies. Oh, I got mine without tomato. Go figure. All right. Cheers. Triple Way Burger Cheers. Woo. Cannot wait to try this. Mmm. Mmm. So nostalgic. Mm. Man, this is good. Excuse my mouthful of deliciousness. I forgot how amazing these burgers were. That char. Mm. Right away, you taste the instant charred meat flavor, followed by that awesome teriyaki sauce. This teri sauce is no joke. It's safeguarded within the family for decades. Only two people within their family know about the recipe and how to make their sauce. It's that sacred to them. And like one of the owners or slash employee was telling me, they soak the beef patties in the marinade for about 20 minutes before they take it out and grill it. And then they dip it again one last time before they plate it up and serve it to you. An explosion of terry flavor. Everything I feel like is very balanced. You got the sweet from the teriyaki sauce. You got the umami from the teriyaki mm. sauce. You got the beefy char. You got the tangy ketchup relish. Mm. Oh, good. Balances out the heaviness of the burger patty and the sauce. All that flavor ends it off with that nice, cool crisp of the lettuce. And guys, I actually have a very funny story about W&M Burger. Mm. I don't know if you guys are interested to hear about it, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. <laughs> So I've been coming to W&M Burger since I was a kid. And as I've mentioned previously, I grew up in like the Kapuhulu, Kaimuki, Kahala area. That's just where I'm from. But anyway, my auntie took me to W&M Burger one day randomly when she was babysitting me. And I thought it was so cool as a kid if you could hold the drink like this from the cover. And I remember I did that. I grabbed my auntie's drink like this and I was holding it. I and I literally... Talk. Sorry. And I literally dropped the whole entire drink right in front of W&M Burger, yeah, right as we're leaving. 
No wonder we haven't gone back. <laughs> that was my memory of W&M Burger as a kid. <laughs> I remember going to the gym as an excuse just to go to W&M after. Me and my friends would be like, oh man, we had a good workout today. Let's reward ourselves with W&M. I love their Terry burgers. If you guys like Terry sauce and charred meat, this is it right here. Simply between two buns, mm. does its job. It holds everything nicely, it soaks up the sauce. Ooh, and that cheese though, you gotta get the cheese. Yeah, cheese on everything, guys. Of course, wash it down with a nice Coke Zero. Their fries are okay. <laughs> Yeah, I think the fries just got soggy, but like dry soggy along the way, you know what I mean? But it did take us a while to get here. Come here for the burger anyway, guys. Trust us. Also, as mentioned earlier, in case you missed it, get your orders in before four. I'm telling you guys, they run out. They don't take any more phone orders after that because they know they're going to be out. I recommend the latest three o'clock because we tried calling it at 3.30. It was no bueno, guys. Yeah, no bueno. So we drove down, I rushed down there. Oh man, oh, also they have hot dogs too, guys. Also marinated and double dipped in their terry sauce. So I just got it simply with cheese. You could add all the fixings if you want. Relish, ketchup, mustard. Mm. That looks so satisfying. <sighs> Something about simple char grilled hot dog. Mm. It's a pretty salty hot dog though. <laughs> I don't Mm, sorry guys. I don't know if it's just a nostalgic factor, but it's nothing fancy. It's not like in-house smoked hot dog or anything. It's just a simple hot dog. The fact that it's marinated and grilled in their famous sauce, simple American cheese, like everything is so simple. This ain't no bougie food. This is legendary food. I think because we're at the beach too, and it just feels like the perfect food to eat at the beach. Exactly, like Yvonne oh. said. We're at the beach, have a picnic, char hot dog and char burgers. What better way than to eat these at the, the beach, you know? Yo, dummy and M, also on wildlife, guys. It's more like the beginning of wildlife. Like if you're coming from Waikiki side, it's the beginning of the wildlife street. Next stop, St. Louis Drive-In. Been around since 1959. Also about six decades or so. Come on, guys. Iconic plate lunch. So what they're known for is having unique combinations. They're very local Japanese style plate lunches. They're known to have unique combinations that other plate lunch places don't offer. For example, Amanda's fresh seafood plate. Mm. Damn, look at that. That's like a beauty pageant winner in my book. Let's see what we got here. I don't even know. What are all these things? Also, their, their seafood is fresh here. Don't let the exterior fool you. It's their original location on Wailai as well. So, you know, you might be thinking, oh, this place looks kind of ghetto. Their seafood is fresh, guys. I've never gotten sick from eating here. Look at this beauty. Look at this bad boy. Look at that. What? This one has fried, like, egg battered mahi-mahi fried shrimp tempura and Ahi sashimi. When have you seen sashimi on a plate lunch? That's unheard of. Usually, you, most places, if they do have it, it's separately. I usually get the Japanese deluxe, which is similar to that, but instead of the mahi-mahi, you get mochiko chicken and the terry beef. It comes with these three sauces. One is a tartar sauce. One this is a one... tempura sauce. I think this is the oh. wasabi shoyu mix. Yeah, this is wasabi shoyu, babe. Right, let's try the mahi-mahi first because everyone was saying how fresh the fish is. So it's nice and flaky. Lightly egg battered, very Japanese style. Dip it in some of that tartar sauce. Ooh, All right, cheers. Mm. Oh, wow. Man, that's good. Man, this plate has so much food on it. Everything's just <laughs> falling everywhere. This tartar sauce is really good. This tartar sauce is good. The fish is good. To be honest, I don't like comparing places. I know you guys like want us to compare, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna say it. This mahi mahi is better than Rainbow Drive-In's mahi mahi. Ooh. Ooh. Did I uh, cause an uproar? Maybe. Let me know in the comment section below if you tried both. I will oh. say though, St. Louis oh, Drive-In is not as touristy. Like I feel like a lot of people think that Rainbows is a tourist trap just because it's like right near Waikiki, and a lot it of is people. Touristy, though. Yeah, a lot of people do like videos and stuff there. But St. Louis Drive-In is super, super low key in Kamuki, right across from St. Louis School. So well, super low key. I'm gonna try some of their shrimp tempura. Mm. They include a lot of their shrimp tempura and a lot of the combos, like their bentos and stuff. So I'm assuming it's pretty good. Okay, cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, mm. oh, that batter. That batter, yep. Yeah. Yep. I like how there's mm. like a little side salad here. Oh, it didn't come with mac salad, but Felix got mac salad, so. You know that. But yeah, that shrimp tempura, guys. It's not one of those dinky, like all batter, no shrimp kind of tempuras, you know what I'm talking about? Pet peeve of ours. But yeah, you can actually bite and taste the shrimp in there. 
Batter is very light, very crisp. And also for the shrimp tempura, I like that the batter is not super oily because I know sometimes shrimp tempura batter could be super soaked in oil and just mm. be like an oil bomb, but this one's totally not. And guys, the food we got today, it's pretty affordable. Dare I say cheap eats? I mean, majority of the plates at St. Louis Drive-In is under $10. No joke for like a huge plate. Like look look at this box, you know? I mean, granted Amanda's one was a little more. It was like $13 or so, but come on. Fresh mahi-mahi sashimi, which we didn't even get to yet. Totally worth it. Can't wait to show you guys my plate. Try some of that sashimi. I have high hopes. Cheers. Mm. Yup. Very lean, very clean ahi flavor. Yeah, that's actually very fresh tasting. It's not fishy or anything. So what I mean, guys, don't let the exterior fool you. Don't just drive by and be like, oh man, this place looks grungy. Trust us, St. Louis drive-in. Before we finish mopping Amanda's plate, let's get to mine. This is one of their items I haven't tried here before, and y'all might be disappointed that I haven't tried, but it's their famous Mochico Chicken, Terry Glazed Mochico Chicken. Oh my goodness, look at this bad boy. Look at this. Like I said, you know it's a good time when lunch is served in a cardboard box like this. <laughs> oh man, is this not a beauty or what? God damn, flies. Anyway, look at that. Ah, man, this should be a Terry flavored episode or something. All this Terry sauce goodness. Huge, generous portions of Mochico chicken. Very juicy, very nicely glazed. Can't wait to try this, baby. Where you at, Amanda? Where you at? Oh, I was too busy eating my food. Oh, boob, you're like taking up all the real estate, man. I don't know, you set the camera that way, I'm just filming it. These plates are for chop chopstick experts only. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, mm. wow. Oh, that man. sauce is so good. Wow. Holy cow. Mm. Oh, you gotta try one of these. Oh man, giving W&M rubs with that teriyaki sauce competition. I'm really surprised. I'm not like a big fan of like teriyaki chicken usually, but this sauce, this is really good. Whatever you're thinking of what teriyaki chicken tastes like, this is it. So you're saying it sets the standards for teri chicken? Mm -hmm. Oh wow, that's a bit bold, bold statement. Again, like very reminiscent. It just reminds me like when you go into the beach, someone's grilling up the teriyaki chicken, you're all excited because you want to eat this right after you get out of the water. This is what I would want to eat. All right. Okay. Yeah guys, and no joke, like Yvonne mentioned, this is like perfect, I don't know, beach food, sad food, good food, celebratory food. I don't know. Just eat it any day. Ooh. Make an excuse for yourself because you deserve it. Come down. Try it out. We didn't try the mac salad. Oh, yeah. Let's try mac salad. Oh, we got, got ahead of ourselves here. Ooh. Oh. Mmm. It's good, but it's just kind of mayo-y. It's just elbow macaroni and mayo. Very simple. It's very nostalgic though, I will say. I'm trying to think of a place where I had this somewhere before, but can't put my finger on it. Before we continue enjoying, let's get, oh, uh, Yvonne got a bento. So let's see what her bento is all about. Got the KCCN bento. I think it was like one that was popularized on one of the radio stations. I don't remember which one it was. KCCN? Uh Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> what a dude. Oh, what a sorry. Dude. I didn't know. I didn't know that was a right. radio Show station. Show us what the KCC and Bento is. Basically, what this is, is it has terry beef, it has spicy chicken, it has a fried scallop, I believe, and it has an egg. I tried a bit of each of it, and honestly, it's really good. Terry beef kind of reminds me of the Zippy's terry beef, but a little bit more, I think, juicy. It's not as dry. So if you really like terry beef, I do recommend getting this. Spicy chicken is pretty much what you expect the spicy chicken would taste like. It is a slightly spicier than what I would have thought. Whatever you're thinking of spicy chicken is, that's basically what it tastes like. But what I was actually surprised with was the fried scallop they only give you one and i took a bite out of it and it wasn't oily it was it was actually very soft the taste was very surprising and i, I it didn't even taste like a scallop actually i would have just thought it tasted like like chicken <laughs> This one was actually a big surprise to me because I was expecting it to be again like very oily So I guess like what Amanda was saying with uh, even with the tempura that what's really interesting is that their fried food Isn't like super greasy or oily tasting it. It's like perfect it even though um, The food may be like right now like kind of old it still tastes like really good again I also recommend like st. Louis drive-in if you're about to hit the beach I, get, Grabbing a bento and bringing it with you to the water. I think you'll really like the bento even after you get out of the water so recommend st louis drive-in 
Yeah, guys, we pretty much inhaled the food. <laughs> but I just really like that the area that we are in today, it's Wailai Avenue. It's a very low-key local area. Not a lot of tourists are around there. So if you're looking for something that's not super touristy, kind of in the middle of a random area in Kaimuki, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just a very good place and I have some memories going to St. Louis driving because my brother actually went to St. Louis so we'd stop by there ever so often to get food and stuff so all these places just have really great memories for us you know you're local when plate lunches have memories as mentioned earlier in observance of National Donut Day we went to a special place called Pervy Donuts is it Pervy or Pervy? Pervy Purvey donuts. I guess like purveyor, but purvey. There's an accent on the E, so let us know. Is it purvey or purvi? So guys, this place is, this is actually their second location. It's also on Wailai, but more like towards Kahala area. You know, that new like Kahala market, foodland area. It used to be like the old Chinese kitchen place and right next to the Kahala Towers or whatever. Anyway, it's in that area. It's a new complex. Yeah, original location on Kona Street near Ala Moana. They blew up, guys. These donuts are not just gimmicky, they taste good. I'm not saying they're gimmicky, but it's different than your traditional donuts. And they have some awesome flavors. And fun fact, when this place first opened on Kona Street, we literally went there and we tried their donuts and everything, like how many years ago? And we weren't even like on like YouTube or anything, yeah. but we, we just- vlogging yet. Yeah, we weren't vlogging yet, but we purely just love food. So we literally went there when they first opened, so. We got a bunch of things today. They have a wide variety of flavors so we went ahead and got what sounded delicious and they all have creative names so we kept the list with us so we wouldn't forget and also because it's national donut day they actually gave us a free donut yep a free classic og style donut just glaze probably my favorite one because you know me og flavor let's try the that s'mores one first because i got that one for you also guys to save the trouble of not standing in line and filling out an order card and such, you can always order online. They have a comprehensive website explaining what each donut flavors are and you can order them and even schedule your pickup time. We scheduled it a little late today, or I did. I'll admit, it was my fault. They were nice enough to accommodate and make it fresh on site early for us. It was like almost an hour early, so shout out to Purvey <laughs> Donuts. So the first one that we we're talking about is called You're Killing Me Smalls. It's a s'mores chocolate marshmallow donut. And you guys know I love my marshmallows, so of course we had to get this one. And for you, babe, you get the one with the graham cracker, the Teddy Graham. Ooh, I actually love Teddy Grahams. Chocolate Teddy Grahams. So in order to make this easy <laughs> for all of us, I went ahead and cut it in fours. So go ahead, Yvonne. Cheers. Cheers. Killing me smalls. Softly? No. <laughs> what? Killing me smalls. Oh, I had it right. Yeah, killing me smalls. Mmm. Mmm. That chocolate, mm. marshmallow, perfect. Mm, it's like graham cracker flakes on it, or graham cracker dust. Nice, simple chocolate flavor, marshmallowy pillow in the middle. I really like that the donuts are not like dried out or like crumbly. They're very moist and it's not too dense. It's very fluffy, very airy. The consistency of the donut is on point. And guys, I'm not sure if these are a little healthier, but they're cake donuts. They're not uh, regular dough nuts. That makes sense. Fried donuts. Yeah, these are cake donuts. I'm gonna grab this one. This is the cross section. But yeah, you guys see the cross section? It's more like a cake, it's very porous. It's not like yeast donut. So that one is the Nana Nut Buster, which Ooh. is halpia glaze laid with macadamia nut and chocolate banana drizzle. How is it? Oh man. Oh, oh, oh. So I did try the Nana Nut, Nana, Nana, huh? Nana Nut Buster, oh, that man. one. That one is good. If you like coconut, if you like halpia, you like macadamia nuts, you're gonna really like this one. I don't really get too much of the banana flavor though. Really? I do. Really? Yeah, it's, it's really? very apparent. Yeah, it's very like tropical cream tasting. The only thing that's missing is a pineapple flavor in there, but I like that one, especially at the beach. I don't know. Since we've been trying a lot of the creamy ones, let's try their namesake one, unicorn butthole. Oh, unicorn butt squeeze. I was close. I knew it had something with butt and a unicorn, but this is, I think their signature, their mascot in the shop is are unicorns. So it's a lemon glaze with fruity pebble squeeze. Squeeze, it's just fruity pebbles. Huh? Or fruity pebble. All right. Cheers. Unicorn cheers. Mm. Oh man, 
Mm, it's really good. It's simple, but it's good. It's really sweet. All if, arching. Mm. If you guys really like fruity flavor, like Fruity Pebble, the cereal, this is right up your Fruity Pebbled Road Alley. Plus that lemon glaze too. You know how I like my tartness? Ooh. Mm. Well, very tarty. Very sweet. Very fruity. Oh yeah, that glaze is a little on the sweeter side though. Which was a little more tarty and less sweet. The lemon flavor is good, but I feel like the fruity pebbles on top just makes it overly sweet for me. Is it the fruit that makes it sweet? By the way, yo, a little more tarty, a little less sweet would have been perfect. The next one is the Jimbo, which is this one. Cinnamon sugar pounded into caramel apple pie. This one? Ooh, this one. Oh, are you sure? Oh wait, is it this one? Yes. Oh shoot. Okay, wait, not that one. Which one is that one? This is the 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 nut mac nut one. Aloha mac? Yeah, aloha mac. Well let's try the one that we do know first then, the mac nut uh, buster. Aloha mac. Oh, okay. Okay, so this one is the Aloha Mac. It has chocolate glazed crop dusted by macadamia nut and caramel. This is like Ooh. all the flavors to make a signature cookie with. This literally looks like, what is that? Um, Is it Ferrero oh, Rocher? Like no. Yeah, Ferrero Rocher. No, no, no. What's the the one with the caramel on the inside and then the outside, it's like really crunchy with the toffee? Um, uh, Almond Roca. The Almond Roca. Yeah, the outside kind of looks like Almond Roca. Yeah, it does. What do you guys think? All right, let's give this a try. Aloha Magna. Mmm. Mm. Very mm. simple, familiar flavors. No BS. Just straight up chocolate, macadamia nuts. Mm. This one's really good. Caramel syrup. This is like next to as good as the, you know, an OG donut. Like, you want something a little more fancy, not too crazy. If you like chocolate glazed donuts, that's the one for you. So every week, Pervy, Perve, sorry, donuts, they have a, a special donut of the week and they call it the Weekly D. Yeah, be sure to check out their Instagram. Follow them, guys. We leave everything in the description as always, to see what they have featured so, the current week. It's a maple peanut butter glaze with Captain Crunch peanut butter cereal with chocolate drizzle. All right, so another cereal themed inspired donut. Oh, I can smell like Captain Crunch. Peanut butter, I can really smell that. Whoa! <laughs> can just hit you with peanut butter flavor. If you really like that nut butter, that's the one for you. Very strong peanut butter flavor. Because I just put a whole mouthful of Planters peanuts in my mouth. I can't really taste the, oh, the peanut butter Captain Crunch. That's what it is. It's weird that they use like maple syrup too, right? Cause you can actually, when I smelt the donut, you can really smell the maple syrup, but oddly you can't really taste it. I feel like the peanut butter kind of overtook the whole donut. Yeah, yeah, the peanut butter is very strong. Very apparent that one. And then we got this nice apple donut. This one looks really good. Out of all of them, I think this one looks like it's like something I would like order. You know, if mm -hmm. I saw it through a window, if I was window shopping, this would be the one I order. I mean, just look at how beautiful this is. It looks like a sugar malasado slash apple fritter with a <laughs> nice, nice little apple tart thingy on the top. Isn't that beautiful? So this one is called the Jimbo. It has cinnamon sugar pounded into caramel apple pie. That one looks right up our alley. I love apple pie. Are you trying to bite it? Like, you're yeah. not gonna give us a piece? I'm gonna I don't think you can. Yeah. Oh, okay, fine. The top is... Fine, go for it then. Yeah. Fine, you go for it first. Oh. It's a very awkward angle. Yeah, yeah it is. It I love warm apple pie. Mm, oh god. I can tell. Mm. This is gonna be my favorite probably. Mm. Love apple pie. Mmm, man. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's so good. It's like a malasada and an apple fritter all in one. If you could only choose one donut, like Brandon, a subscriber we met when we were picking up the donuts, shout outs to you. Like him, he was on a diet. So he got donuts for his daughter. What a sweet guy. And if you do decide to try a donut, get this one. Trust us. Oh my goodness, this is so good. My hands are like so all So I'm gonna take one more bite then before I hand it off to the Vaughn. Vaughn, how is it? Oh my goodness. This one is so good. It reminds me of the apple pies from McDonald's, but like a fresh apple pie. So you know, normally when you get the apple pies from McDonald's, it's like all dried out and old because you know, I don't know how long it's been sitting there. Oh no, I dropped it again. 
<laughs> it tastes like <laughs> it tastes like a fresh apple pie from McDonald's instead of the usual crust that you're thinking of. It's the it's like a malasada. It's like it's like an apple pie, but a malasada in one. You, you just gotta get it. You just gotta get it. Then you'll understand what I'm talking about. Right. But it basically tastes like that. Like, like a malasada you, apple fritter. Yeah. Or yeah, apple. Uh, malasada apple fritter. I just said apple pie because I feel like a lot of I, I feel like that is like would be more understandable to people if you don't often eat an apple fritter. You probably have had a McDonald's apple pie. Who hasn't? I mean, right? Guys, that was a lot of Terry Glazed food, a lot of legendary eats. Thank you guys so much for coming along with us on today's foodie adventure. We're super happy we could take you along Wailai Avenue in Kaimuki, take you to all the iconic spots to get local grinds. And honestly, everything was super good, affordable, and very local. So if you want to support local, definitely hit up Wailai Avenue. <laughs> New foodie street of Oahu, I must say. So thank you guys so much for coming along. And make sure you guys like this video. And then comment down below, what color is the button of that like button? After you like it, let us know. And also, if you have not already, hit that subscribe button. Do yourselves a favor. Where else can you find Hawaii's best food vlog channel? It's the easiest way and the freest way to support us. So definitely don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It means the world to us. We want to give a special shout out to all of you who support us, all of you who constantly comment and watch all of our videos. It really means a lot to us. And honestly, we could not do this without you guys. So thank you so much. Oh yeah, and we're at Kahala Beach, by the way. I think we oh, forgot yeah. to. I think we forgot to mention it throughout the video, but it's such a lovely day. Anyway, guys, see you on the next one. Until then, stay starving. See you guys next time. Bye, guys. Peace out.